Hello everyone and welcome back to another Roblox video and of course we are playing Defenders Depot 2 and I'm basically here to showcase the Absolute Zero which is the newest rebirth item that we have right now. It is a debuff trap and it is actually the biggest item that we have right now measuring at about 6.6 .6 as of version 1.1. The effects of this is it reduces the movement speed of enemies, both air and ground, by 50%. And of course, level 1 would be 60%, level 2 70 and level 3 is 80%. Um, it's honestly really good. They really did it justice, and compared to what it was in Defenders Depot 1, it's still pretty good as a general item to have. So it has a lot of pros compared to its cons. Its pros is that it can be placed anywhere. So under blockades, it can be placed right there. Under towers itself, it can be placed. Under the nexus, it can be placed. And right here, literally anywhere. Under traps as well. So as you can see right here, you can place it right there. And if you buy a trap, let's say if I buy this, I put it right there. And I put that there. Um, you can also place it right there. So it is really good. Um, has a good slow effect 50% for a 6x6 is really good and on the max level as I mentioned before on a level 3 it becomes an 80% so that's pretty good as well it's also good throughout an entire rebirth cycle which is something that you always need um, <clears throat> obelisk uh, so you know I would really recommend that uh, um, it works really well actually with obelisk so wave 115 and wave 125 has these tiny clumped up enemies that you would have so by combining both the absolute zero with the obelisk, you can get them like perma stun, and it sounds really good. Um, the only con, actually, it has two cons. The con that it has is that it has a small range, which is a six by six. Um, and since a path is only two by two, it is actually best to place this at a corner. So if I place it right here, it's actually best if I do that since it it gets the most effects right there compared to if I were just to place this in a straight line like this which is not as good it's still good but it's not as good and another con is that it's not really a con but it technically does not help you rebirth faster since it just slows the enemies but I guess if you are struggling with enemies then slowing it down might help but technically um, unlike crystal enhancer and a force of nature it does not buff your tower so it does not make it faster um, on a side note, you know, I don't think there's literally, I don't think there's any reason to not place the absolute zero. You can, <laughs> um, I'm actually planning to like place it everywhere in the map considering how like free you are to place it. You can even place it under blockade as I said. Like there's literally no reason to not place this on any of your paths as you can see right here. So if I just remove this, as you can see right here, hold on. <laughs> You can instantly see how slow it gets and just imagine this as a level 3 which is an 80% and like there's literally no reason to not place this at all. Um, from Defenders Depot 1 to Defenders Depot 2 they really did this justice. It's always going to be a game changer when you have it. And if they were to release the Accelerator which if you did not know increases the movement speed of an enemy by 50% I think but also increases the coins earned by 50% it's basically gonna be a counter to that so you still get the coins but you also get the normal speeds and this is also 50% off um so yeah, if they were to release the the accelerator this would become a higher tier because right now i would rate it an a tier and I, I rated the force of nature as an s tier but you know i really think that the range of it is quite small a 6x6 six six is i don't think that's good enough i feel like it was much bigger in defenders depot one but anyways, I still think it's pretty good, so um, I would really recommend using this. And um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. See ya.